I'm just working and I'm loving every minute of it. I'm growing. Our team is growing. We're having some of the most amazing successes. And so I want to tell you what I've been focusing on because I was sitting to prepare for this episode and I thought, man, I have been up leveling my skills in these five areas. I want you to do the same. This is The Fighting Entrepreneur, the podcast dedicated to entrepreneurs looking to change the world. Learn how to start, build, and scale a business in today's highly competitive business environment. Here's your host, The Fighting Entrepreneur, Anik Singhal. What's up, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? It is your favorite person in the whole wide world, Anik Singhal, back with yet another episode of The Fighting Entrepreneur today. Five skills to learn during this coronavirus lockdown to help you make more money. It's going to be an awesome episode, and it's just me. I don't have someone to interview today, but we've got some amazing interviews coming up here in the near future. Now, before we can start, do me a favor. We're getting really close to a thousand positive reviews on the podcast on iTunes. All right. Internationally, we have over 1,200. And I don't know if you've noticed, well, maybe probably haven't because I hadn't noticed, but for the last couple of weeks, we have consistently for this amazing podcast been in the top 200 of like all business podcasts and the top 200 of all podcasts related to entrepreneurship. And we're not doing anything crazy here. This has been organic growth. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of your patronage. Thank you for listening. Um, If you want to help me out more, I want to get into the top 100. I want to be consistently top 100. Then we'll go top 50. Then we'll go top 20, right? I want this thing to grow. This is going to be a big goal of mine in 2020. I'm actually bringing on some amazing resources to help me grow this. And we'll be interviewing them soon too. We'll report on the data and the results of that on this podcast. But if you could go ahead and please go find my podcast on iTunes, The Fighting Entrepreneur, leave a positive review, leave a five star, give us, you know, say something nice. I'm going to start something soon where I start every week. I'm going to just look at people who have left reviews and we're going to start giving away, you know, cool swag and cash prizes and things for people that are taking time to really help us build this finding entrepreneur community. So if you could do that, please go ahead right now. If you're watching on YouTube, the best thing you can do is click subscribe, hit the bell icon, click, leave a comment, you know, all those fun things. All right. So that was my kind of ask for the day. And then of course, learn.com, L-U-R-N.com. Are you a member of this amazing free community of entrepreneurs worldwide? We're going to build this community up to 10 million entrepreneurs that can work together, stick together, hang together, help each other. It's free to join. Lots of amazing courses in there for free and some that are like five bucks. So go in right now, lurn.com. Make sure you are signed up for your free membership. Okay, so I took a look into my own life. Uh, The last, I don't even know anymore. Is it six weeks now? And I don't know how long we're going to go for me. I don't really care what the government's doing. I don't care who's on lockdown, what's going on. I've pretty much self-declared myself on lockdown for the rest of the year because I'm a high-risk patient. You know, I take immunosuppressant medication, and so I don't want to mess around with stuff. But the first two weeks were a little rough. And here's the interesting part. I am an introvert. When this thing came out that we we're going to be in quarantine, I was like, yeah, I have been preparing for this my whole life. <laughs> and then within a week of it, I was like, ah, I'm going to go crazy. You know, it's like being told what to do was probably the worst part. Or what not to do. Anyways, the last month, I've really gotten into a groove. And I'm going to say a few things that you might relate to. I have never worked this hard in my life. When we went into quarantine, I thought video game systems out. I literally dusted off my Xbox. There was a layer of dust. I know where that term comes from now. I've wiped it off. I cleaned it up. It still works. I bought video games, spent all this money. Um, I got a, a pilot kit like a like a home simulator kit it is sitting over there if you're watching on video you'll see it's in the corner and it's boxes and i have not had a chance to pull it out and put it up and play with it um i thought we'd be netflix binging i haven't watched a single tv show i watched a little bit of ozark but eh, got over it i'm just working and i'm loving every minute of it i'm growing our team is growing we're having some of the most amazing successes and so i want to tell you what i've been focusing on because i was sitting to prepare for this episode and i thought man I have been up leveling my skills in these five areas. I want you to do the same. So you ready? Okay. Number one, copywriting. Oh, I know you say, Anik, not again. Copy, copy, copy. So you talk about copywriting conversion and funnels. Yes. You know, I launched Conversion Academy a few months ago and we we're having a ball in there. We've got hundreds of students that are just loving the training that are, I'm seeing huge growth in them. Massive growth. By the way, you can join us. Take our 21-day copywriting challenge. Go to copyin21.com, C-O-P-Y-I-N-2-1.com. Join. It's $97 and then $197 a month. But you get training from me every week. Actually, what I've been doing is letting the students come on and watch me while I build funnels live. Watch me write copy live. Watch me think through the planning process. Why is this? Because 
as I go down the five skills, every other skill is reliant on your ability to write good copy. You cannot just outsource it. You have to learn this and it's not hard. It's templated the way I teach it. I need you to understand what makes people tick consumer psychology. I need you to understand how to communicate with someone to create an impact, to create influence. This is important and this is the time. You can start by first reading my book, The Silent Salesman. I deliver a five-step formula and the book is absolutely free. What you need to do is go to silentseller.com forward slash FB for Facebook. Silentseller.com forward slash FB. Join the Facebook group. It takes 15 seconds. It's free. And as a reward for joining the Facebook group, you get the book for free. So when you log in to um, so when you log into the Facebook group, go to the announcements, one of the announcements, I'm giving you the URL to the book. All right. And then read this book. And I've got amazing content on my YouTube. Go to YouTube and type in copywriting Onyx and Gall. I've got some great, great content there. Study it. All right. And then join us in Conversion Academy because whether you want to write ads, whether you want to write emails, whether you want to create sales, whether you want to help even affiliate sales, you got to be able to follow simple formulas. It's not hard like it used to be 20 years ago. And you know what? Even if it's not mine, find someone who you re resonate with. Find someone who's copywriting you relate to and write. Start writing. It's important. Now, eventually you can outsource it, but for now, you need to learn the skill. Skill number one. Skill number two, traffic generation. That's right. I said it. You've got to find at least one source that you can get really good at. You want to make money? You've got to have one. Listen, I'm going to go through a brain dump. Pick one. Facebook ads. Facebook organic. Facebook groups. Yes, we're going to be talking a lot about that. As a matter of fact, in July at Learn Nation, ooh, wink, wink, we've got an amazing program coming out that teaches you how to do Facebook groups. I'm learning it right now. I actually got the silent seller Facebook group up from zero to 22,000, 22,000 members in like three weeks. All right. So cool stuff. Uh, YouTube organic, YouTube ads, content marketing. So free SEO type of stuff. Um, man, solo ads. That's another one, right? There's, there's native advertising. I don't know how to do it, but it's there. And I know a lot of people are making a ton of money with it. So listen, we have all these things, right? All these possible ways for you to generate traffic, pick one, 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 not all of them, pick one. Now for me, I'm very good at a few of them, but I'm not very good at most of them. For example, like my podcast, I just told you, it's become like, I, I, I just got super inspired and I want to grow this podcast, but I'm smart enough to know how busy I am throughout the day already. So instead of me doing it myself, I'm going to bring on an expert who has a proven record for doing this and honor him with his contract and pay him his money let him do this for me, but I'll watch behind the scenes and see what he's doing and learn. But you know, whether you do it yourself or not, but you have to still have one. See, there is one. I'm very good at things like YouTube ads and Facebook ads. I'm not that good at the organic stuff and I'll let someone else run that for me, but I could probably still do it if I needed to. I just want you to be good at least one, pick one, whatever it is. And there's amazing training inside of Learn Nation for it. There's amazing training on YouTube for it. There's amazing people all over the world that can teach it to you. Pick one and say, you know what? For the next month, I, I, I'm, I'm plugging my ears. I'm not listening to anything. I'm going to figure this one strategy out. You will see you combine that with your ability to write some copy. I, I, you, I challenge you. I dare you not to make money. It's impossible if you do it right. You will make money, but you got to stick it out 30 days. You're stuck at home right now. Use this time properly. Okay. All right. Number three, audience building. No better time. The entire world is on the internet. The entire world is bored out of their minds. The entire world is looking for things to consume get in front of them. This is the time to build your audience. There has been no better time to build an audience. But here's the thing. People say, well, where? Onik, oh my God. And they try to do 15 things. One. Notice the trend here of these podcast skills. One. Pick one social platform. Facebook groups, YouTube, Instagram. All right. Um, email list. Love that one. My favorite by far. Build an email list. Uh, there's other options out there. My favorite, if you, oh, podcast. But podcast doesn't reach my favorites. I'll tell you why. Because a podcast takes a while. Uh, it takes a lot of time to build up and get traction. If I was to tell you my three favorite places that right now I would say you should build an audience and you should focus on one of them, it's email list is my favorite. <laughs> Always will be. You know that. Uh, Facebook groups or YouTube. If I had to put them in order right now, I feel my feeling. Email list is definitely one more one. Maybe YouTube organic is number two, but a really close second is Facebook groups. I'm starting to fall in love with Facebook groups. These are three ways to build. You can build a list for free. And you know what? You can use 
YouTube or Facebook groups to build your email list. So maybe email list is like not its own thing. So pick one of the two platforms, go build a Facebook group or go build a YouTube channel. And both will take time and take time to get traction. And that's okay because you got nothing but time right now, but start picking, pick one place, start building an audience of people. Your goal is to get to a thousand devout subscribers, a thousand people in your tribe. I promise you again, I challenge you. I dare you not to make money. It's impossible. Number four, Pick one type of content format that you can communicate with that you get good at. So now you got like this audience, right? So you're using your traffic to build the audience and now you got copy that's gonna help you pick the right topics to talk to the audience, but now you need to talk to the audience. No point in having an audience if you don't communicate with them. Well, there's multiple ways that you could do that. I need you to pick one, one over the next 30 days and get dang good at it. And here are your options, video, written, images, audio or the well there's sorry there's four options there's video written images and audio video written images and audio and the fifth one is my favorite you could graduate up to the next 30 days after you've mastered at least one and that's called multi-purpose content let me explain what i'm talking about a lot of you are going to say onic video i'm scared of video but and you're missing out if you don't learn how to do video. You're missing out on amazing amazing places you can post content. The internet's all about video. But fine, listen, you don't have to be face to camera. You don't. You can do screen capture videos. You can do PowerPoint presentations, only your voice comes out and you can train and teach people. It's not as good as face to camera, but it's still video. And you can use free tools like Useloom, U S E L O O M.com to film yourself. You just need a decent mic, okay? I use a very expensive mic. You don't need this. This is because I geek out on this stuff. You can get a, a decent headset for like 30, 40 bucks and, and you're in business. You can do videos. Videos are powerful because of multi-purpose content. That fifth step I talked about, when you have video, you automatically have video, audio, and you can transcribe the audio and you have written. And then you can take images from the video and you have images. So when you do a video, you're essentially doing all four of the types of content. Okay, so I implore you to consider it. Number two, we talked about written. Not my cup of tea. As a matter of fact, I'm really seriously thinking about bringing on someone full-time at Learn to just manage our blog. We gotta, we gotta up-level our, our content game at Learn, ironically. We're a publishing company, for crying out loud. But um, I'm not, I don't like to write blog posts. I love writing copy. I don't like writing blog posts. So it's not for me, but it might be for you. It might be perfect for you. Well, there's a lot of great things you can do with that, right? Great blog posts. Get consistent. Get your blog up. It'll take three, four months to get some traction. But when are you gonna start, man? Start now, no better time. Now you can take those blog posts, have someone else do the audio and video for you also if you wanna multi-purpose that content. Number three is images. I'm hearing a lot about Pinterest lately and so I'm kinda of starting to look over at Pinterest. I saw a post even recently by my buddy Arnie uh, who runs Facebook groups training who's coming in to learn soon. He's gonna be one of our published experts. And um, he talked about how he had a Pinterest account he had set up once, posted a bunch of stuff, lost, forgot about it, came back in and he's getting hundreds of thousands of impressions and he was like, what sorcery is this? I uh, got my attention. So images, right? You could build a Facebook page, Facebook group, where you just post really good images that have messages. And I mean, look at how well, they, the, I, I see some pages that are crushing it with this. They get shared a lot. It's not as deep of a relationship, but it is something. So I'll take it. Uh, now you can't take images and really turn them into videos, audios, and written content. So that's the one thing where they stink, right? So they don't really give you that multi-purpose content. And the last but not least is you can do audio, right? If you want to do a podcast, it's great. If you do a podcast and you don't do video, you're missing out on so much value of that, that time. But at least it's still you doing an audio podcast. At least you're doing something. And now audio can be transcribed to turn it into a written post and uh, can't be turned. I mean, you can turn it into a video if you create a bunch of visuals and hire a videographer to do it. It's just not as powerful. So again, it comes down to like video is the key. Video is awesome. Please learn how to do video and then you can multi-format, multi-purpose your content and spread it all over the internet like wildfire. And again, I would dare you not to make money from it. I dare you. All right, bam, number five. I've been really working on this and been doing a great job. I'm already pretty good at this, but this is a skill that I think you should really take this time to master and that is network and relationship building. Here's why this is the right time during this coronavirus lockdown. Because the most of the reasons that people will avoid networking and relationship building is because of the handshaking and the face-to-face -face and the rubbing shoulders and the schmoozing and the taking people out to the bars and wine and dine. You can't do any of that right now. You can't, you can't even shake hands. So guess what? You're behind a Skype chat. You're behind a Facebook message. You're behind a, you know, a Zoom call. Most Zoom calls I get on, I don't even share my video because uh, right now I, I really put a lot of gel in my hair to keep it kind of at bay for you for this video. But 
oh man, it revolts during the day. It ain't looking this good. So again, a great opportunity for you to start connecting with people, getting to know people. I I've, have a simple rule in my life when it comes to networking and relationship building. Every week, at least 10 cell phone numbers must go in my phone. I'm very specific. Matt, look how I didn't say 10 people must be friended on Facebook or 10 people must be on Skype or no. 10 cell phone numbers must go in my cell phone. A cell phone number is a very intimate connection between a network and relationship. So if I can get someone's cell phone number, I feel really good about where I took that relationship. Every week, 10 new cell phone numbers. Now I will say as my network has gotten really big now, 10 is a little tough sometimes. Plus we're so connected on Facebook and other platforms. I don't even like feel like I need the number anymore. I'm good, but for you, I still want you to focus on that 10. So you combine this. Skill number one, copywriting. Skill number two, pick one traffic generation technique and master it. Skill number three, pick one social media platform and build an audience there. Skill number four, pick one type of communication medium that you can then use to talk to that audience. And skill number five, relationship and networking. Get out there. By the way, one of the other amazing things about having a video-based channel, a YouTube channel, a Facebook group, having an audience is you can use that, leverage that audience to go out to people and network with them. So someone, you could go to someone and say, hey, I wanna do an interview with you. I'd like to put you in front of my audience and talk about what you do and promote your book or your, pro or your product or whatever. Would you be interested? Ah, that's you saying, I'd like to do something for you first, please. And I, it's just gold. Talk about building a relationship, it's gold. So there you have it. These are the five things you could be doing right now to change your life and make more money. And there's no excuses, you entrepreneurs. Just because we're locked down does not mean you don't fight for your dreams. It means all the more. Like I said, I'm working harder today than I did before. And I love every minute of it. And I'm seeing great growth. So go out there and fight for your dreams, as I always say. Having said that, listen, again, please, iTunes, go leave me a review. Help me get to a 1,000 domestic US-based reviews. Binge, listen to our episodes. It helps our rankings, onicpodcast.com. We are working on a brand new website. It is going to be sexy. It'll help you search and find old episodes because we're like past 150 episodes now. Um, so onicpodcast.com, binge listen, leave me a review. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe, click the bell icon, leave me a comment, click the thumbs up icon, give us all that great juice. And this helps us spread the podcast more and more. With that said, thank you so much. I will see you inside of Learn. L-U-R-N.com, and I'll see you on the next podcast episode. This is Onyx and God reminding you when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back. Come on, entrepreneurs. Go out there, fight for your dreams. Stay safe. Stay inside. Master these five skills. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx and God.